about um, a number of different things, one of which is a dog that was kind of on her way into rescue. Um, actually, if you want to make sure she's on there too. This is Stralka. She's a five-year-old Lakeland. Wonderful dog. Wonderful dog. Why would a dog like this go into rescue? These people have spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, on training for this dog. They went to a trainer who trained with food, and she got aggressive with food. They called somebody in who was very gentle and kind, and told her, told them they were to pet her invisible tail. I don't know how that was going to fix a dog that's aggressive, but that's what they were told to do. The last trainer told them, they have two dogs, they have a Welch Terrier and they have Stralka. The last trainer told them they were to take each dog separately for three hours of walking, and that's how you get the dog to not be aggressive. Now, I don't know about any of the rest of you, but six hours of walking dogs ain't going to cut it. How are you going to do it with your broken ankle there, Anita? Not very really well. Darn, you're out of luck. You're not going to get anything else done all day. And she's got two babies, a three-year-old and a new baby. So, yeah, that's really uh, stupid. Anyway, so this is the professional help that uh, they paid dearly for. The dogs are fighting. What's your choice? Get rid of one. Which I find even worse. So she contacted me because how do you place a dog that's aggressive? You can't. Um, I understand the breeder would have taken the dog back, but that would have meant the dog would have just probably been placed again, which would not have solved the problem. These are good people, trying very hard. And then they came here. And when they came up, I realized the dog was trained. She's a wonderful dog. She's housebroke. She's sweet. I said, why would you give this dog up? Because we can't have this in our house. So they drove four hours to get this dog into a safe place. Now that's not somebody that takes giving up a dog lightly. We did an initial assessment of her. Hi, baby girl. And I said, this dog doesn't need rescue. This dog needs to get out of the war zone. She needs to understand that humans are going to take her part. That it's not her and the other dog against each other. It's limits. It's an understanding of what the job is. And it's having a person in charge or people in charge who actually are pack leaders who not only control, but also protect each of their pack members. Yeah. If, in fact, if, if we get her so she's used to other dogs, right, that's kind of the goal? No, it's not used to other dogs, Mike. It's teach her that she doesn't have to worry about being killed by another dog. Well, if she goes back in that same situation, well, that's why the people need education. 
So the other yeah. dog needs to be trained as well then, right? Well, the other dog needs limits. The other dog was the first dog in the house. The other dog, oh, the other dog's a Welch Terrier, which a Welch Terrier doesn't have the sense of humor of a Lakeland. A schnauzer doesn't have the sense of humor. So the, the gay and impish, that's what Lakelands are. Gay and impish. They play tricks on you. You take a Welch, who's like a little Welch guy that drinks. Any busyness makes that Welch angry. So this dog came into came into a home and was left in the charge of a crotchety old guy. Now the Welch is not particularly healthy, so that makes it even worse. He's got less sense of humor. It doesn't make the dog bad, it just makes it a Welch. So this dog needed to be raised by someone who understood him, not someone who's controlling. So as a puppy, this was a happy little, silly, little kid. The first time she encountered a crotchety old guy, you got a problem. The dog said, you are not having fun here. So this dog grew up, every time she tried to be a Lakeland, she was corrected. Talk about an identity crisis. That's kind of like you take somebody, you know, who's been raised on a farm, out on a ranch or something, and they go to work in a factory where they're doing piecework. Oh my gosh. Or you take someone who was raised in the big city who in a small and then turn them loose. So did she start fighting back, or did she just let well, the Well, it was dog... out of fear. She's trying to avoid, well, now you got a bully. So now we walk around looking for her. Now, when we think about it, we still are the kids we were in kindergarten. If you were shy as a little child, you, deep down inside, still are shy now. Because those concepts are established from the very beginning. So the only way you can rehabilitate, and rehabilitate is teaching this dog to replace negative thinking with positive. The only way you can do that is to take her back through her childhood which is to reestablish the fact she's a Lakeland. It's what we did with the Great Dane. The Great Danes didn't start out, I mean, Oz didn't start out to be grouchy and bossy. He started out to be a puppy. By taking Jammy back, she took him back to a time when he got to be that little kid and you re-raised him. That's the beauty of dogs. They're able to do that. But Lily is such an innocent. I've never made her grow up. She's such an innocent. She's not threatening. She doesn't want to be leader. She wants to be an eternal child. Oh, Lily, Lily, Lily. She's six. Good girl. Now, by putting a muzzle on Stralka, she has to learn to use a different set of skills to deal with things. By leaving her with her mouth, her first reaction is to use her mouth. Hey, Lily. Good girl. She has to be around some individuals that aren't going to hurt her. Good girl. Hey, Lily. Hey, Lily, Lily, Lily. There's no reaction to her at all. Good girl. Now, along with this, the people need to reassure her 
that that other dog is no longer a threat. The other dog's almost 10 years old. It's got health issues. Truthfully, the best thing in the world would be, but that's not up to me. Okay, good girl, Lily, Lily, Lily. Good girl, Lily, Lily, Lily. Hi. Now, only through experience will Strelka be able to believe this is true. She's not going to believe it just because we say it. She's not going to believe it because somebody gives her a treat. She's not going to believe it because we promise. No. When you get a dog, that should be the promise. When you become the pack leader, that should be the promise. That your life is safe. I'll guarantee it. Hey, Lily. Hey, Lily, Lily, Lily. Hi. What do you think? Good dog. Now, by watching Lily go up to other dogs, Stroka is able to believe maybe that dog's not going to kill you. Even that big one? Huh. Isn't that amazing? Come on, baby girl. Now, she doesn't need to see all these dogs. Come on, baby girl. She just needs to see that I'm not afraid of these dogs. Even the big and dumb ones. Good dog. What is it? Good dog. Easy. Good dog. Oh, what an excellent dog. Come on, Strelka. Come on, baby girl. We can't get panicky. Even if we are. Come on, baby. We're not. But I mean, if you happen to get yourself into a mess, you don't let the lines get tangled. Hello, short dog. Good girl. Come on, Strelka. This is leadership. This has nothing to do with training. Okay. Nothing. That's enough. Oh, stop. That's enough. Good dog. Good dog. That's enough. Good enough. You said. This is leadership. It's top priority, as well as many of the other dogs. But it's top priority in security and safety. Easy. Good, easy. Good, easy. When this dog first came, she wanted to hide in a crate every time she saw a crate. Hey, enough. Thank you. Easy, Nick. Good. Good girl. Kate. Kate. Leave it. Come on, potato. Come on, Kate. Good dog. So now we're able to put her in the middle of a lot of chaos here. Good dog. Easy. Kids, the other dog is a crotchety old dog. 
And, you know, it was really hard talking to them because I said, the kindest thing you could do would be to put that one down and concentrate on this one. And they really didn't want to do that. So they were willing to give this one up because she was the nicest of the two and the easiest to place. That's sacrifice. And commitment. Even the other dog separate from the children? Yeah. Yeah, the other dog kind of lives in a room, I think. Good dog. So now, would you bring, just bring Thor over here and talk to me. Now when we're doing this, with all confidence, I can say any dog's safe. Now, even if she got angry and she tried to jump, and in the beginning she did. In the beginning she would launch herself on Lily or whoever, um, trying to... Sit easy. Good girl. Good girl, Straka. Good girl. Good, easy. Just having Kate there is a real steadying factor. Okay, you want to play? Come on, you. Come on, Thor. Come on, Straka. Come on. Now, for that big male Airedale to look down at her and her not react, that's huge. This is one of the problems with training in your home is that the dog isn't really out of its comfort zone. That's the importance of socialization. Now, socialization is not going out playing with other dogs. It's learning to deal with the rest of the world, how the dog fits in. Good dog. Good. This is nothing but fear. I believe fear is probably 95% of all the aggression you see. We make a dog afraid of somebody else. That's why we want them to attack. We make them afraid of another dog. Pit them against each other. Now, sadly, there's a lot of experts out there. There's a woman that wrote to me. She lives in England. It just is astounding to me. So I've probably said it before, and I'll say it again. She was having trouble with her two dogs fighting, a Lakeland and another breed. I think it was Schnauzer, I think. But anyway, same thing. Grouchy Schnauzer, no sense of humor, grumbly, opinionated, and a Lakeland that's kind of happy. All right. I wrote her a very lengthy answer to response to her post about the problem she's having. And I explained to her about leadership and about pack order and about all the things. She thanked me. But she took my reply to her veterinarian and her, ver her veterinarian promptly informed her that that pack stuff was old. That's antiquated. These are now pets that no longer applies. Okay. And that's why rescue is alive and well and doing fine. 